Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. It's time for our daily message. Let's see what the angel cards want to say to whoever needs it out there. I will get three cards from the angels. Two more. Remember, this is a general reading. It cannot resonate with everybody out there. The energies can be vice versa. And the timing is fluid. So when I say daily reading, it can manifest one week later or any time it presents to you. This is the time that you need to watch it. So we have here balance, Archangel Zadkir, the need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. The Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And the Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry, unnecessary worry, I stay in this uh, last one, unnecessary worry, because here you have the Ten of Pentacles, and that you need to wait for the perfect timing, let's clarify these cards. Again, with the Angel Tarot. This is the Angel Tarot. Let's see what we have for the collective. So we have a departure with the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is the unnecessary worry. The Five of Cups in the normal tarot is a person who is crying over spoiled milk. And for the Three Cups that are down on the floor and this person cannot see the two cups that are upright this is the unnecessary worry i think i see a victory here i with the ace of swords let's see what is this eight of cups and ace of swords somebody is single Independent. Somebody left the situation after a truth that was revealed, or may want to leave, but they need to wait for the perfect timing. As the angels say, the Five of Cups is falling all the time down. the death but too many cards we will not take them it's definitely an ending here because a very long term commitment and that because with the ten of uh, pentacles it's a long-term commitment, a family, happy life. 
but the time was the timing was not right as I see. The timing was not right for this relationship, commitment, connection, whatever, marriage, I don't know, engagement to grow. The timing was not right. There is a divine timing for everything in this life. Uh, as soon as it started, just at the beginning, somebody left this connection. And I have the Five of Pentacles also. Somebody was left out in the court. Okay. Isolation. Yes. But I don't think this is you that you are in this uh, heavy energy. Yes, I see that you have some challenges inside you, inside your mind, inside your heart, but you are comfortable, you are a confident person. And you have so much love to offer. So much love. With the Ace of Cups, I see a new brand, a new love coming. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck, the Sun. Yes, the timing was not right that time, but now, yes, this is a new love, a new love, a new person. It's not a past person. This is a new person. But I see that somebody left from a long-term commitment, but this is a new love, a new love. Let's see about this new love here. The Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Again, the Sun. The Sun, happiness, family. It can be for a fire sign out there with the Queen of Wands and with the Queen of Cups it can be for a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. Again, it's the third time that the sun is at the bottom of the deck. The sun is Leo, as I said, uh, because I said about the fire sign. The sun is Leo. This is a very happy and this is an offer for the long term. This is the end of your suffering, heartbreaking with the three of swords, but with the ten of swords it is the end of your suffering of whatever was this truth that came out and hurt you. From your past long-term connection, commitment. You are still heartbroken, but with the Ten of Swords, this is the end. Is the ultimate pain and devastation, but this is the end. It's a ten. This is the end. With this new love offer. Yes, and with the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, you are moving forward. You are moving forward. 
with this new person. What else can you tell me, Spirit, on this new love offer? This is a person that maybe you rejected in the past. This is a person that maybe you left this person in the past for someone else. You chose someone else. You chose, you had to, uh, a choice between two and you chose another person and you left this person. But that's a, oh, totally unexpected. This love offer is coming to you at the moment that you least expect it. In your pain, in your sorrow, devastated for this truth that was revealed to you, for this departure, you are feeling lonely, you are feeling heartbroken, but this card from angels talking about divine timing. And your time has come. Um, you can meet, you may meet this person online. Online. Um, because I see online communication, texting, messaging. Again, it came out. Yes, it came out. This is online, this meeting. But you don't expect that this person is the one. Maybe you are chatting, maybe, you know, maybe you are friends, maybe you will date this person to meet uh, each other, to get to know each other. But you, you don't expect, uh, because you are heartbroken and you cannot see clearly, you are blinded. Uh, you don't expect that this is this person can offer you so much love. Uh, you don't have this in the in your mind. You are just uh, talking like this. This person may be in a distance from you, like different city, different country. And this person is traveling towards you to meet with you. There is distance. Any more information about this? What's the potential? Let's ask. What's the potential outcome? from this love offer, from this meeting. Really? <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> the, I was not sure when I saw it. The Ten of Cups. I was uh, looking Leo, um, uh, excuse me, the Sun card all the time home, family, stability, happiness, and um, here also the Ten of Pentacles says a very happy family life, and with the Ten of, of Cups you have, it says here, home, if you can read it, home. Yes, so the true intentions of this person towards you, maybe you are already uh, talking with this person, yes.
some of you are already planning this uh, meeting you are already talking with this person some of you know some of you many of you know for who am i talking about right now the person that you have in your mind is this person that i'm talking about I see preparations for meeting, for dating. This person is, has, uh, is ready to give you unconditional love. This person is kind of scared. I don't know if there was anything in the past that caused this person a heartbreak is scared to express openly their feelings uh, the, his or her feelings um, I see they are kind of close to themselves they are very careful with what they say uh, because they want to check you, they are testing the waters and first and then they want to express themselves because they are afraid of rejection. You know who am I talking about? Mm, yes, most of you are already talking online or in other social media, I don't know, with this person. You are talking, this person is, as I said before, from a distance from you because I see this person traveling to come to see you. Uh, I see distance and this stable, happy ever after this love, this unconditional love offer and this commitment is uh, will grow, will grow and remember my words because I see it very clearly here, will grow very, very fast and proceed to a very serious commitment, even to engagement and marriage, very, very fast. So this is the daily message that I have for you today. Please like, comment. If there is anybody of you out there, I'm sure there are some of you out there who resonate with this reading uh, remember this is a reading for the collective for uh, the 13th to 14th of uh, July uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel so I can get your energy and resonate more in my readings with you and hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when I post my videos. I am sending you love and light and many blessings. Thank you for watching.